Hi everyone, it's me. So today we are going to officially find out what the best thing in Britain is. So today to find the ultimate British thing or the best British thing, we are going to do a elimination bracket. I actually, I don't want to show you it because I don't want you to see what I've written. I went to printyourbrackets.com, printed this off, and it's a 32 team single elimination. So I've written eight things on one side, another eight things on the other side, and they're going to battle it out to get to the final winner, which will be the best thing about the UK. Does that make sense? I hope it does. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian who has spent the last four years living in England. I'm now temporarily back in Ontario, Canada. So these rankings are an, a foreigner's opinion, which makes it official. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go. Now to start off our first elimination bracket, we have T versus queuing. <laughs> Um, two very British things. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I don't drink tea. I appreciate tea from afar, but I do not drink tea. However, on the other hand, I appreciate queuing. It's boring and annoying, but queuing is quite important. But tea is also very important, but I don't drink tea, but I do queue. So I think in this round, which, which one wins? Queuing. Queuing is the winner. I don't drink tea. Sorry, tea, tea never had a chance. I'm so sorry. But queuing wins. I'm literally like doing this all with pen and paper. Okay, tea is out, queuing is in, and let's go to the next round, shall we? Now the next elimination bracket is between fish and chips and a roast dinner. Now this is very difficult because both of these are fabulous British meals and I think they're really important to British culture, but which one is better? Now, I think I need to just go with my gut on all of these. So my gut is saying, I would like fish and chips, please. Right now, I'm hungry. Let me have it. <laughs> so I'm going to say the winner of this round is fish and chips. I love it. I love it. Roast dinner is wonderful. I love Yorkshire's as well, you know, some gravy, some like roast beef, veg, I can take it or leave it, doesn't matter, roast potatoes, wonderful, but there is something that I just absolutely love in fish and chips. Alright, so fish and chips wins. I know they're screaming in the comments, that's okay, you're all wrong. <laughs> Now the next elimination bracket on the road to finding the bre the best British thing, we have football versus the Marks and Spencer food hall. Now if you guys follow my channel at all, you will know that I love to eat. I do. Many of the things on this list are food related. You might have noticed that already. If you haven't yet, you will notice. So for me, I love I know Marks and Spencer is really expensive and I would never do a full grocery shop there because it, I don't have the money, but I love going there, finding like a big Marks and Spencer food hall and then just like grabbing the odd thing that I've never seen before, you know, something I've never tried. I love it. I miss it. I've got goosebumps. I'm hungry. <laughs> And I, I love a Marks and Spencer food hall. Unfortunately, I hate football. It's boring. I don't care. I don't support any team. I just, I'm not, I'm not really into sports as it is. And football, I find to be one of the slower ones. It's a lot of running around. <laughs> But no, I'm sorry. Football loses in the first round and a Marks and Spencer food hall carries on to, it's the, it's the winner of this round. It carries on to next round. Marks and Spencer food hall, fabulous. Next up on our quest to find the best British thing, we have roundabouts versus iron brew. Now, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Most of the people who watch my videos are British and you're going to know what Iron Brew is. For the very small population that doesn't know, it is a drink that I believe it is still currently the most popular soft drink in Scotland and oh my goodness. I've had Iron Brew on two occasions, I will say, two. I gave it 
twice a shot. <laughs> twice a shot. That's not right. One time I was given iron brew because my friend knew I was going to be hungover. So she's like, here, take this. You're going to need it. The second time I had iron brew, I think was actually for a YouTube video when I was doing taste testing because I couldn't really remember what it tastes like. But from what I remember now, it is so sweet. It almost tastes like liquefied like bubble gum or like cotton candy. That's what I remember, like cotton candy kind of tasting. It's so sweet. However, saying that, roundabouts make me clammy. So here in Ontario, we have very few roundabouts. They're trying to make them more of a thing, which I don't know why. I think it's more of like a novelty sort of situation, but roundabouts in the UK when I was driving made me really nervous because I'm not used to them. <laughs> Especially like the really big busy roundabouts and you're like, please lord, don't let me die in this roundabout. So this one is tricky. Iron brew I don't really like and roundabouts make me very anxious. So which one wins? I'm gonna say iron brew because it causes me no immediate physical danger unless you drank too much and your teeth might fall out. Where roundabouts um, are very scary and... <laughs> Um, I am in the process of trying to move back to the UK, however, all the visa offices are currently closed, which is very exciting. But I'm hoping by the time I go back to England that I can still remember how to drive and um, drive roundabouts because it's been a very long time. I've been stuck in Ontario for what feels like many years. Many, many moons. But back on topic, I'm taking a bit of a detour. Traffic related puns anyway. In this round, Iron Brew wins. So all the Scots can, can clap at home silently, but just know Iron Brew is not going to win the next round. So consulting my, my little printed bracket, those are all the things on the left hand side, the first eight versus thingies. Now we're going to move over to the right hand side. Some of these, just having a peek at them now, look very difficult, but let's continue. The next bracket is pubs versus English breakfast. This one is so tricky, but in my heart, I know which one. And I think people who watch a lot of my videos, you also know which one. And it's a pub. I love a historical British pub. I love exposed beams. I love giant old fireplaces. I love a pub dog. I love old men sitting in the corner drinking alone. I just love the pubs. However, I really do love an English breakfast. For me, um, I personally, toast, hash browns, eggs, bacon, sausage, baked beans, I don't care about the uh, fried tomato, you can keep it. I also don't care about the fried mushroom, you can keep it. I also don't care about um, blood pudding. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't taste that great to me. You can keep that as well. But I do love a full English. I haven't had it in a really long time, to be honest. And I wouldn't turn it down. If anybody offered it to me, I would never turn it down. But in this instance, a pub far outweighs an English breakfast. Sorry guys. And I hope whenever I do make it back to England, I don't know, maybe sometime in late autumn at this rate, I hope that I can go to my favorite pub garden and I'm gonna get a pint of cider and I'm gonna sit out there. I don't care how cold it is by that point. I'm gonna sit out there and just have a moment. You know, I just... Ah, that's what I'm gonna do. Now the next bracket is the only London based bracket. It is a big part of the UK. It's not the be all and end all. And we talk about this in a couple videos. I don't live in London. I have no interest in living in London. London doesn't represent literally any other part of the UK, but it is still a big part. So I thought we should have at least one. We'll give, we'll give London one bracket. So in this British battle, we have the British Museum versus the London Underground. Now, for those of you who may not know, I don't know why you would know this, one of my favorite museums of all time is the British Museum. I think it's fabulous, I think it's gorgeous, it's huge. I can't move my hands enough to describe how much I like the British Museum. On the other hand, however, 
Every time I go into London, I use the London Underground. The tube is absolutely fabulous. Even though it's crowded and it smells funny and you see some really weird stuff on the tube, it is what I have experienced, like the epitome of decent public transportation. And if you go into London, you know, any foreigners who go into London for a day trip or whatever, or a holiday, the tube is just incredible. So which one do we choose? In my heart, oh, I don't know. My heart doesn't know. I love the British Museum. I love going there. But the tube is like vital. What do we choose, you guys? Who's choosing what in the comments? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with the tube. I'm surprising myself a little bit. My first instinct was maybe British Museum, but I am gonna go with the tube because I use it every single time I go into London to meet up with friends or to go to a live show or every Christmas time, me and my girlfriends go into London and we have like a Christmas weekend out in London and we always have to use the tube. It's just, it's wonderful, it's essential, it's accessible. So, you know what, yes, the London tube wins this round. I'm a little bit shocked myself. Now next up is another food category. I'm so sorry. I could not help myself. But we are looking at a sausage roll versus the chip buddy. Now for those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon account. If you want to support me and get extra content, you can check me out on Patreon, please. It's very helpful. But recently on Patreon, I made my very first chip buddy. And going into it, I thought, this is disgusting, because for those of you who don't know, it's literally two pieces of, like, soaking wet buttered bread, not toast, bread, and then we put a bunch of french fries or chips in it with, like, salt and ketchup and vinegar. I didn't have any vinegar, but whatever you want to put sauce-wise on it, and then you just eat this bread sandwich with fries inside. That's a chip buddy. So on Patreon, I actually made my very first one. I had never had it before. I actually kind of loved it, which is disgusting, but I, I love carbs. So it's actually not that surprising. But does a chip buddy beat out a sausage roll? And I'm gonna say no. No. I love sausage rolls. I will eat them any time of day. I remember I think it was this past Christmas when I was in England, I woke up, I think it was Christmas Day, and had hot sausage rolls out of the oven with a little bit of mustard and um, Prosecco because that totally goes together. But there's something so wonderful about a hot flaky sausage roll. I'm starting to drool, so sausage roll wins. Absolutely. The final bracket of our first round <laughs> is saying right before you decide to leave. We talk about this in a couple videos where rather than saying, oh, it's time I should really get going, the Brits love to go right. Well, I best be off. But you have to say right. So saying right before you need to leave versus the Tesco meal deal. <laughs> Tesco is a huge supermarket chain in the UK. It's one of my favorites. I love Tesco. I think it's fabulous. But they do have a meal deal thing. So you get like a sandwich, a drink, a tiny little snack. I don't even remember the prices anymore. I think it was like £3.50 maybe? £3? I'm not sure anymore. So what wins as the best British thing? Tesco meal deal or saying right when you wanna leave? That's a good question. I think I'm gonna go with saying right before you wanna leave. I think it's very cute, it's very endearing. It's something that I kind of do now, especially at my friends' homes in the UK. It's so ingrained, like that's sort of an unspoken code kind of thing, although you are speaking, but it's like, anyway. So Tesco meal deal, may he rest in peace. <laughs> but you didn't win this one. So I have filled in my chart and we are getting to the final. <laughs> Is this exciting? Do you guys care at all? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. So in our second round, we have queuing versus fish and chips. This is dumb easy fish and chips all the way. I could eat fish and chips till the day I die. 
give me some really nice like homemade tartar sauce and a bunch of salt maybe vinegar if you if you have that um a wedge of lemon and i want like fairly large chips like not not skinny little baby ones i want like good sized chips i'll also take garden peas <laughs> garden peas yes and really crispy bit of fish like really crispy not too battered but like battered enough you know what i'm saying and just like having that maybe have a pint at the pub oh having it at the pub with a pint of cider maybe even sitting in the in the pub garden outside and you know out back maybe yes next we have the marks and spencer food hall versus iron brew sorry iron brew you knew what was happening this is the end of your reign. I love a Marks and Spencer food hall. Just go in there and find something weird, like finding something I've never seen before, or maybe a different flavor of something I've never tried. I love it. Yum, please, and thank you. Marks and Spencer, keep doing what you're doing. Maybe lower your prices, but you know, I'll take it. Then we have the pub versus the tube. Gotta go with the pub. The tube, like I had in my little first rant, the tube is absolutely incredible. And if you are visiting London and you need to do a lot of moving around, I, I mean, the tube is such an easy way to do that. But again, a pub, something dear to my heart, pub gardens especially, ugh. And a historical pub? Oh my god, yes please. Next up, we have a sausage roll versus saying right before you have to leave. Now, what is the best thing about Britain? Is it a, a language-based thing or is it a food-based thing? For me, it seems to be like going towards food-based because almost all the things we've been talking about have been food-based. Maybe that's because I'm really hungry. Maybe that's because I haven't had lunch yet. It's undetermined. I am gonna say though, maybe because I'm hungry, sausage roll. I keep going back to that time at Christmas and having a really hot flaky sausage roll and it was just so wonderful and it felt so like culturally comforting. You know, it felt so British, it felt so nice, all right? None of this matters anyway, so I'm gonna say sausage, sausage, sausage roll. That's what I'm gonna say, sausage roll. Now we are getting down to the wire. We have fish and chips versus a Marks and Spencer food hall. I gotta say fish and chips, which is kind of dumb because you can get, you can get fish and chips from a food hall. You can buy it and make it yourself. Plus you can get all sorts of other things. But in my heart, I want like fish and chips from the pub, you know, like I don't want to make it. I want someone else to make it. And I want to sit in that pub garden and have my fish and chips. <laughs> So, sorry, Marks and Spencer Food Hall, your time has come, and Fish and Chips moves into the final. Can you believe it? Now, this next one is easy as well. It's the pub versus a sausage roll. The pub, obviously, if you can now see the final, the final two, this is going to be tricky, but in this round, yeah, the pub definitely beats out a sausage roll. Sorry, sausage. You're still close to my heart, don't worry. Now this means the final round of finding the best British thing comes down to fish and chips versus the pub. If you know anything about me, you'll know that these two things are very close to my heart. <sighs> I'm having like an existential crisis right now. I think in my heart, maybe you know this as well, I have to go with the pub. Because, like, at the pub is where I love to have fish and chips. So you can have fish and chips elsewhere or best of both worlds, right? We go with the pub because there at the pub we can have our fish and chips. So I gotta say pub. I don't even really drink that much, but I love the history, the architecture, the coziness, the feeling, just sitting in a nice pub garden on a sunny day. Everything about a pub minus the screaming drunks. I absolutely love. So there you have it. Officially, the best British thing are the pubs. Should I be surprised? I'm not. If you have actually lasted this long in the video, thank you so much. You are an angel. And let me know what you think should have won out of these 16 British things. To me, a British pub is not really about the alcohol, which is surprising. It's so much more than that. So. 
If you guys can head to a British pub sometime soon, raise a glass for me, pour a little bit out for me. Ideally not in the pub, maybe in the pub garden, but then you'll get bees. So maybe actually don't do that. Just raise one for me in the pub garden of any pub in the UK. I'd appreciate it. I want to say a huge thank you to Aaron who actually came up with this idea. He suggested it in our Discord. I have a chat room for Patreon and Twitch uh, supporters. And in the chat room, he suggested doing a elimination bracket type video. And he very kindly had to explain to me what that was because I did not get it at first. <laughs> So thank you so much to Erin for the idea. And also thank you to everybody in the Discord, in our chat room. We brainstormed these things. I think everybody gave me about 30 British things that I then narrowed down to these 16 that I talked about. But a huge thank you to everyone on the chat room who helped brainstorm these things. It's so helpful, honestly. It can be so tricky coming out with video ideas because I release two videos a week, one on YouTube and one on Patreon. Sometimes the creative energy is not really there. So I really want to say thank you again to Aaron and thank you to everybody on my chat room who helped make this video. Let me know what you guys think should have won. But just know if you don't say pubs, you're all wrong. I hope you all are keeping safe and sane and happy. Please wear a mask. Oh my goodness, it's not that difficult. Drink enough water, that's also not that difficult. And just uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your kind comments, your thumbs up, your subscriptions. If you subscribe to this channel, thank you so much. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. I think I might actually, I have some ciders in the fridge, but you know, I think I'm gonna have a cider and I'm gonna sit in my backyard in the sun and I'm going to just pretend that I'm in a British pub. That sounds good. <laughs>